students welcome to Royson Creations YouTube channel in this class I am going to explain SSLC science blueprint so many students you are commented ma'am please explain in English medium so today I am going to explain in English medium so before going to start the blueprint you have to understand the types of questions because we know that which type of questions they are giving you have to understand the pattern so pattern is very very important so here first we have to know the pattern of the question so the first one is multiple choice question there eight questions will be there so each questions carry one marks this will comes from biology chemistry and physics both also it's not only to restrict for physics or chemistry so in the three parts also they will give multiple choice together eight marks so eight questions eight marks and the next part is one marks question there only the short answers or one sentence answer will be there so here also eight questions are there so eight questions eight marks and the third main the third one is the two marks questions so in this two marks question totally eight questions are there each questions carry two marks and for two questions it have two internal choice not external choice external choice means second question and third question there you have to choice the external so not there is no external choice only the internal choice that is for two questions it have internal choice so eight to the 16 so you have 16 marks next the three marks questions nine questions will be there so each questions carry three marks and here four internal choices are there so you can choice which question is you know very well that question you have to answer so for that you will get 27 marks and the next one is four marks question so four marks questions four will be there so four four into four 16 so here only one internal choice is there and the last one is five marks question here there is no internal choice nothing just you have to answer it so here one only one question is there in one question maybe sub questions are there they may ask only one question or in the one question there is a sub question question number a question number b so together it carry only five marks so together you will get the 80 marks so this is the pattern so totally 38 questions is there so for 38 questions 80 marks for 38 questions 80 marks so the next one is very important that is the blueprint how they have allotted the marks okay now so here the first one is in the physics so we will come to the physics and the first is natural phenomenon for natural phenomenon our part again natural phenomenon objectives is to particle birth away light refraction and refraction and the second one is the human eye and the colorful bulb so for these two chapter together 12 marks is there so are you getting children so I already do lesson again 12 marks are so light reflection refraction in that lesson it's very important loss of refraction and loss of reflection and the very important concept is draw the ray diagram so very very important because they must and should that question will be there for two or three marks two to three marks a ray diagram is there and along with that you should know the lens formula and mirror formula because by knowing that formula you will get three marks problems because you have to solve the problem so very important so you have to learn light lesson and some laws are there so all the things you have to concentrate and uses of concave lens and concave mirror convex lens and convex uh, convex mirrors so please you have to concentrate and the next one is the human eye and the colorful world their eye diagram is there and myophia and hypermetrophia so that disease and which lens they are going to use so that end all you have to concentrate and if it comes to the how to do things work in that electricity chapter is there and magnetic effects of electric current so if you will come to magnetic electricity so their ohms law is there very important so that law you have to learn and the ray diagrams and their series and parallel circuit is there that you have to learn and that formula you should learn because you have to solve the problem ohms law v is equal to ir adana chanagi practice maadi and their uh, joule's laws of heating laws are there that also you have to concentrate and then uh, their problem also you have to solve then the next if you'll come to magnetic effects of electric current there dynamo is there generator is there that last uh, you have to learn Fleming's left hand rules and the right hand rules you have to learn then diagrams is very very important concentrate 
so for that you will get 13 marks the next one is our environment there you will get the source of energy so very important children source of energy for that lesson three marks is there so together for physics you will get 28 marks so next comes to the chemistry so his chemistry is also very very important because there also you will get 25 marks and easy to score so all the subjects are very easy when you will hard work so without hard work you cannot get anything so here materials in daily life the first one is the chemical reactions and equation so in that lesson you have to concentrate children how to write the chemical reaction types of chemical reactions how it reacting so that is very important so that you have to remember that for that you will get the marks four marks you will get it next acid base and salts so what are the difference between acid base and salt you have to learn then in the salts also we have many salts what are uses of that salts you have to learn then ph scale you have to for uh, you have to remember then chemical reactions how to write the chemical rebalanced chemical reaction that you have to remember the next one is metals and non-metals see in the non metals and non-metals you have to know the physical and chemical characteristics of metals and non-metal that is very important concept after that you have to learn the reactivity series which is highly reactive which is a moderate reactive which is low reactive because based on that series you will get one to two marks questions then how the metals are reacting with non-metals and other compound that and all you have to learn the next one is carbon and its compound so that lesson in that lesson easy to score the marks because if you know the structural and uh, molecular formula formula very easy to score because uh, for structure they last two to three marks they are going to ask then definitions are there what is catenization is there isomerism is there then uh, saponification is there so all the things you have to remember the next one is periodic classification of elements see in that lesson model uh, pen, model periodic law is there uh, mendeleev law is there mosley's law is there uh, the newland laws all the laws merits and demerits everything you have to learn and noble gases so don't forget if you learn these things easy to score the 25 marks the next concept is biology so in the biology we have uh, six chapters the first one is uh, life process and the second one is control and coordination the next one is how to organisms reproduce heredity and evolution so it's very important for that lesson you are going to get 22 marks so control and coordination when you will come to control and coordination brain diagram you have to remember and the most you have to concentrate on the glands so here the hormone uh, hormones you have to learn which hormones are produced which glands are producing which type of hormone and what is the use what is the function of that hormone all these things because diagram if they will ask for four marks the remaining things they will ask for one to two marks so concentrate in that in the life process how the amoeba is growing so amoeba do keltare hechagi so life process anna hechu keltare so adanna kalthkoli the next one is the how to organisms reproduce organisms ali yav riti reproduction tagate how in the male and how in the plants so adanella vanna chanagi nodkoli next hereditary and evolution so that is very important heredity and evolution lesson the next one is our environment and sustainable management of natural resources from these two lesson 5 marks so together you are going to get 27 marks so totally 80 marks for science so this is the pattern see like that they are going to divide the marks for physics chemistry and the biology so you have to plan out children see without planning you cannot do anything because for one lesson for example if i am taking sustainable management of our natural resource for this topic they will going to ask two marks See, control and coordination for that lesson they will ask seven marks if you will leave that lesson if you are going on learning only the sustainable management of natural resources you cannot reach seven marks so you should know the weightage of the each lesson then you have to plan how much concentrate you have to give for each lesson so irithi new concentration madhudre easy agi nevu science alli outa hotana score madhudu and for the more videos please subscribe our channel i am going to upload in english all english medium is also 
सो कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑल योर स्टडीज एंड गेट आउट ऑफ आउट इन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट सो आई लैंड अप दिस वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो